When your drivers need updating, you might use programs like PC Pit Stop Optimize, which will give you a list of outdated drivers. You might search Google. You may search the vendor's homepage. This program simplifies it. Driver Max. You have driver operations. You can export your drivers, import drivers. You get an install drivers report, which will give you a list of all of your drivers. As you can see here, it will list them all. It will give you the version, the date. It will come out of this one. Popular hardware, it has the best Windows Vista hardware, popular video cards, processors. Create an account. You can then go into your own control panel and you can create your own settings. We will look at updates and identification. Check for driver updates. Now this will scan your system and all of your drivers and it will then open up a web browser with the results. Now as you can see, the green check mark you have the latest version, the red circle with the white cross you don't have the latest version, there are updates available. So scroll down through, see what you've got. There's one here for the modem which I don't actually use but I will click to download it. This takes you to a new page. Now scroll down click on download driver. You have the option here to save the file or open with driver max which is the default. Leave it at this setting. Click OK and it will download the driver. It will then ask you for confirmation. Tick yes. Close the browser window. A new window has opened with driver max and it has downloaded now here, just click that, install driver, click yes, and let it install it. It really is that simple. Now here it's telling you what you have installed. Click next. Next again. Yes. And you'll get a small window showing you that the driver is being installed. That one disappeared very quick. Again we will check for driver updates. A driver for Realtek. Download this one. Again on the download page. Click the download. Save to the driver max default. Yes, and this one is paused to save your internet. Now it has started and it will install the latest driver which will then appear in the downloaded window here. Once the download is complete it's here. Install the driver, select yes. It will examine the archive. Again it will ask you for confirmation. Select yes. And it will take a few minutes and you'll have this little window running. Now you may find that your firewall asks you for permissions. You need to grant it permission to allow the installations. And you can download all of the drivers at the same time if you like. We can do them one at a time. It's entirely up to you. Now as you can see, this one has been installed as has the previous driver. And the one thing you need to do is to restart your computer to finish the installation. I won't restart at just the moment, but this gives you an idea of how simple it is to download and install new drivers rather than hunt the web and go to the vendor's website and whatever. If you want more information, check out my blog at Free PC Security, which you can Google search for, or you can go to codajo.wordpress.com. I hope this has helped you.